thank you all for uh, attending what's become an annual event, our CIAT accredited programs prize night. And it's just a bit of fun, it's a bit of informal relaxation for all the students. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for taking the time out to come tonight. And I'd make a special uh, mention to the CIAT Vice President Education, Paul Laycock, who is present. The CIAT Regional Education Officer, Terry Reynolds, who is somewhere around from Tweedale. And more importantly, the, the future of CIAT, the Aspiration uh, Group, and their chair and associate members who are present at the back. So if you could just give them a warm perhaps and welcome. What tonight's about is just a celebration of the class of 2017. They haven't had any formal examination boards or anything, but today marks the end of a journey thus far. Some of the architectural design technology students have had their first and final examination today and that's really good because that's the end of it. They all had their vivas for this the major project exhibition yesterday. So tonight's just a celebration with family and friends, employers and associates and many alumni. We have more past students present here at this moment in time than we've had for many years and that's a real testimony to them supporting the course, them all being in employment so they've got no excuses to being able to afford to come here and it's really wonderful to see you all pass on that information and what the journey has been like for you after tonight. I'd like to really say a big thank you to the architecture department, members of staff. We have been grossly understaffed for a period of time. However, things are changing. There are vacancies, appointments to be made, but the team here have played as a team. And I really want to thank them on behalf of the students for all they've done to make tonight possible. And you, you'll, each and every one of the team are gonna be involved tonight. I've made that a particular point, so you will see who the team members are as we uh, hand out their prize, prizes. I would like to extend a real thanks to the faculty staff. They, we are a faculty, we are a school and we are a department. And together we are all in collaboration. We work together, we stand together, we don't necessarily fall together because there's always someone standing to lift the other person up. But it's all about celebrating the success of the university. The university strapline is students first. And that's what we really are about, putting students first. And to make tonight possible, the faculty staff, Sheila Hines, who's present, Chris Dios, Gurpreet Ray, who's not here, they've pulled out every stop to ensure things run smoothly. So I'd like to just celebrate and say thank you in their absence for some people, but in the presence of those. So can you join me? In <laughs> Without any further ado, we're going to go straight into what we do is we open it up to our administration. We open the voting to anyone who would like to come into the exhibition. So as I say, we've marked tonight with some prizes. But we wouldn't have been able to have prizes if we didn't have a project. And we wouldn't have a project if we didn't have clients. And I really just, before I go into it, I think it's most fitting. The projects this year are about Sutton Hill Community Centre. And we have uh, a couple of the client representatives here. And I'd like to just invite you forward just to say a couple of words about what the projects were. And then we will present the prizes. Please introduce yourself because I'm going to be doing a lot of talking this evening. <laughs> Thanks very much. Um, I'm John McGrath, the chairman of Sutton Hill Community Trust. We're the charity that has taken over the running of Sutton Hill Community Centre and have been inspired by yourselves. 
I'm uh, Ben Thomas, I'm also a member of the Trust, uh, I'm Treasurer. Um, we've got very strong ambitions for Sutton Hill Community Centre and all of this is the beginning of our thought process of where we want to take that going forward. So I've, I've just put together a few words anticipated in this moment. So um, thanks, I'm, I'm very honoured to stand in front of you and all your fantastic work um, and, and represent Sutton Hill um, on behalf of the community and the Trust. Uh, we've been impressed by the, by the close engagement between you, the students, uh, the staff, and, and us representing the community centre. I'm delighted that we've made your project real. Um, it's not a paperwork exercise. I can tell you that we will be examining your work and taking your ideas forward and making them real. Um, as chairman of the charity, uh, responsible for Sutton Hill Community Centre. Um, I consider the building to be a machine to produce better outcomes for people in their lives. Um, and you have, your work will definitely energise our machine. Your work will enhance the experience of our communities in the community centre. Uh, architecture, good architecture makes the world a better place. Uh, and uh, students, you've already begun, because it's real. So, uh, thank you students, uh, and thank you staff, um, and a few words for the university. Uh, thank you for the open day, those of you that contributed to that. That was a fantastic day. Um, as, as trustees, uh, we're taking on a risk, and we were inspired by the engagement that that day gave to the, the community. People came to the centre that had never been before, so there is by doing things right, we can actually make the thing work. And that day was a real turning point for me. Um, and lastly, the Hub on the Hill. That's the new name for it, because we asked the community what they want to call it. Now it's called the Hub on the Hill. Um, it is now running. It's live. We have staff. It's happening. It's under our charity. Uh, we have an excellent cafe. So you're all very welcome to come along and have a coffee and a cake. Thank you very much. So, it's very real. We have uh, the clients and the students and everything is in, has gone extremely well thus far. This is going to be a very short and formal part of the proceedings, but we have five categories of prizes. There were some voting slips and I knew there would probably some, be some late votes, but the certificates have been made and we'll call a number of the team forward to present the prizes. So, the first prize which we have for tonight, and as I say, these have no bearing on your marks and what the outcomes are. There have been prize winners who have not been successful. There have been some people who haven't uh, won prizes, and you can look around this room because not everyone's a prize winner, and they're all in good employment. I'm looking at a few people who didn't necessarily win prizes, but they won the gift of uh, being equipped and having all the graduate attributes to go and find work. So the first prize is for the best presentation, technique and model. And I'm going to ask Paul Bowden, who's actually from Sutton on the Hill, to come and present this. Paul is our resource technical manager and has been a great strength for the students as they've been making these beautiful models, etc. So Paul, could you come forward? And I'll look Thank you, Eric. So the best presentation technique and model goes to Jordan Casey. <laughs> Just stand in front of you. Don't worry, I'll see you from now on. Come on. Cheers. I neglected to say there was a, another little envelope which I noticed Jordan got hold of that quite quickly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the second uh, prize of the evening 
is for the best exhibit. We, in the last three years, have started a BSc in architecture, and that will run a bit later in terms of the uh, exhibition. But one of the members of the team who actually has driven architecture has been the course leader uh, along the journey for architectural design technology and has, has really been the visionary behind what we have today and he's now been very much active with the architecture students. He's going to, I'm going to ask Andrew Cunningham to step forward and present the prize for the best exhibit. Andrew. As you can see, I'm dressed for the part. <laughs> I didn't know what was happening until just. <laughs> uh, oh, gosh, right. So the prize winner. Ooh. Oh, I'm not sure. Will I get this one right? It's Emma Thompson. <laughs> or the third prize is for the best presentation board and I think it's only appropriate that the award leader for the ADT and the IAPD, Architecture, Design, Technology, Interior Architecture and Property Development, a CIA team member and you may actually meet him in a future life as an interview assessor, Paul Smith, could he come forward and uh, present him? I thought he was going to say in a later life, but I've shuffled <laughs> off this board and coiled for a minute. Ooh, best presentation board. Uh, I'm happy to present this to a young man I met earlier tonight, Jordan Casey. These were actually voted for independently, so I've, I've checked them as the uh, returning officer and there's been no uh, interference from any outside parties. These are true votes. The uh, next uh, prize is for best technical detail. And again, I think with it being technical detail and architectural technology is all about the detail, I think we have it's only fitting that I ask Dr. David Eason to come forward and present this prize. I'm sure we want to give him that. Well, really? <laughs> You're the doctor. Right, so this, this goes to a gentleman who always, uh, as well as being very good at technically, he always makes me laugh, which isn't very difficult to do. <laughs> so, Victor. time is all about what the university is about. You've come to the sort of stepping stone of the undergraduate process but it goes on through research. We have an MSc program here in building information modelling and there are PhD opportunities, MSc, MPhils. Lifelong learning continues and one of the things which we try to get you to do at this stage is to learn about research. I'm very fortunate that we actually have our Associate Dean Research, Professor Keith Burnham, and I'm going to ask him to come forward and present the Best Integrated Research Project Prize. That's it. 
So it's given me a pleasure to uh, award this prize. And again, this prize goes to Jordan Kester. the end of this show at the, this point so you could still win a prize <laughs> everyone will leave here with a prize because the most important prize is education and that's a stepping stone but the, you're all on a CIAT accredited program and we've got the aspiration group and they through their chairman are going to come forward and they have actually created some prizes and some different categories and they've come early this evening and done some voting so I'm going to invite uh, Matt to come forward and the team, whoever's coming with you. The floor is now yours. Okay. So, I'll be to a little bit of a plug first. Uh, I don't know whether any of you actually have heard of Aspiration. I see a, a few committee members in the audience, some that have won prizes. Um, and it's basically a young initiative set up by CAAT to basically get people involved with the Institute and try and get some of the money back basically that we spend. Um, as part of our membership to do events and get some sort of education and extra things out of it. So part of that is doing things like these events we're doing today. So we go around each of the NWA shows, giving out prizes and meeting people, um, furthering hopefully their education and their network as well. Um, so we thought when we actually came up with these prizes that we were being original, but it turns out two of these three criteria have actually already been given out already. But this prize was given out for the best original detail, most inclusive design and the 3D model that they produce. And I think, I'm not sure, but I don't think they're actually here today, which is a bit unfortunate. But nevertheless, our prize goes to, I hope I pronounced this right, probably won't. Shui Sin Win Tun. All right. She's not here? No. Okay. Well, we'll make sure it gets a prize, but forget we'll it. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. That's it for us, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Told you we wouldn't be long. That, that brings us to the end of the formal uh, part of the evening. As I say, it's just a celebration. Please mingle, uh, look at the work, speak to employers who are in the room, speak to your family, thank them for all the support they've given you over the three, four years and just enjoy the evening. There are strawberries and crisp and some uh, refreshments over in the glass house because we're in laboratories that you can see here in this fantastic building and uh, some of the, the architects for the building, uh, some of the interior designers and architectural technologists who are graduates from our programs are actually in the room so find out who they are. Uh, if you go across and enjoy the refreshments. Keep on being part of this family, keep on coming back. We are moving in a couple of years time, in fact, I think 2018, 2019, we'll be moving across the road to the Springfield Brewery, which is gonna be the home for the School of Architecture and the built environment. Find out a bit more. Everyone is a prize winner tonight, and thank you, and I wish you all the best for the future.
thank you very much. Thank you, everybody who's uh, contributed to the increase in my waistline. It's lovely. All the other awards don't mean anything, but when the students say thank you, it does mean a lot. And when they say thank you with alcohol, it really means a lot. Yes, it does. <laughs> Oh yes, yes, I wasn't really dressed for that. There is a card there to be buying as well. There is. How long can you put it on your spray? Yeah? Colin? Colin as well? I didn't think he was included in the piece, though. And I've got a card. As Andrew has already said, this is the most important thing for us. This is what means when the students say thank you, we realise we're actually doing something right. So thank you.